Hello everyone and welcome back. So today you will see one game that I played one year ago against top 100 players in the world. I played against, you know, one of the best players in Armenia, the Grandmaster Gabriel Sargisian with the rating, feed rating. He's 2646 for now and is number 90 in the world. It's just amazing. So, you know, in this game you will see so much good moves, great moves and maybe a brilliant one. So, let's see it together. So, we play this game, you know, like one and a half years ago, something like this. And it was like a rapid tournament in Chesscom. So, you can see the rating here is like rapid um, ratings. So, I think it was like 10 minutes per uh, each one of us and 5 seconds increment per move. So, let's see the game. So, I play the move e4, e5, knight e3, knight e6, bishop b5. This is the Rui Lopez with a Spanish. And yeah, let's see what happens. So, he played the move a6, bishop a4, knight f6, castle. And you know, I think we will have some course or tutorial about the Spanish because also in nowadays I'm, uh, you know, like so many years already, um, I'm writing a book about Spanish. This is my dream, you know, to uh, publish a book about Spanish. I played a lot of Spanish with White and I really want to share uh, my knowledge uh, in this opening. So he played the move bishop to e7, of course knight takes e4 also. Uh, one of the moves here, this is the open Spanish, d4, b5, bishop b3, d5, d takes e5, threatening the pawn on d5, bishop e6, covering it, knight bd2, also queen e2, there is options, you know, so many things, so many theory here, and, um, you know, a lot of learning here. So we play the move bishop e7, the main line, rook e1, we are uh, covering this pawn on e4, now b5, bishop b3, and castle. So his point is to go for a marshal. Of course, after c3, he will play the move d5, e takes d5, knight takes d5, knight takes e5, knight takes, rook takes, and now c6, one option, also bishop b7, and also in this uh, variation, there is so many lines here to know with both sides, and it should be, you know, in the end, it's like somewhere equal, uh, but it's something that you just need to know uh, if you want to play it. So I didn't play the move c3, I played the move a3. My point is that if he's playing d6, I'm coming back to my c3, of course, uh, with the, you know, with the plan to play d4, knight bd2, knight f1, knight g3, and attack in the king side. Of course, c3 also uh, very important because after knight a5, we'll have the opportunity to play bishop c2. So he played the move bishop b7. Another option for him is to play the move d5. But e takes d5, knight takes d5, and now I will not take the pawn on e5, I will play the move d3. And now f6 probably, knight bd2 with c4, you know, a lot of things also in this position. I, If I remember correctly, a king h8 he should play, um, but maybe I'm wrong, I'm not sure about this one, maybe bishop b7 first, bishop b7 also, knight bd2, queen d7, yeah, something like this, maybe a4, maybe a3. Uh, but you know, this is a game, uh, both sides are fun, I think, rook f8, rook a d8, we will play knight e4, bishop d2 maybe, uh, yeah, in in interesting, really interesting uh, position to play, but he played the move bishop d b7, I played the move d3, d6, and now we must understand what black wants to do, he wants to play knight a5, of course, with taking the bishop on b3, so, you know, this bishop on, in b3 is the most important piece in the Spanish, so we're playing the move a3. Queen d7, knight c3, we're developing another piece into the game, into the center, rook a e8, I think general knight d4, it makes sense, I think maybe I can take also bishop a2, uh, I, I think I had the game um, in match in Czechia, uh, so you, you, you can check it, Czech Republic of course, um, but we will see it I think maybe in the tutorial of uh, Spanish but I think also knight takes d4 makes sense because e takes d4 knight e2 c5 and white will play something around knight g3 I don't know queen f3 knight f5 bishop g5 bishop a2 with you know very strong diagonals very strong initiative for white here and I believe it's good for white but he played the move rook a e8 I'm not sure about this one I played the move bishop g4 developing another piece 
h6, just take it, bishop takes, and a4. And now we play the move b4. And now, yeah, it's it's very important to understand that a4 was, you know, like to, to disturb this pawn um, from uh, b5. And now I'm asking him questions, right? You know, to, to see what he's... What he's looking for, because if he's taking it, I don't know, bishop takes a4, maybe knight d5. Yeah, it's it looks nice for me, at least. Um, and b4, also knight d5 just, you know, looks looks fine uh, for me. And uh, this is what's, what in the game. I really want to take this pawn, uh, bishop of, on, of, from f6, of course, and also to weakness the king on g8. So we played the move bishop d5, and now my point was to play a5. And now this pawn on b4 is, is really weak. I want to show you if I can do this oh, review. Oh, what I did now. What I did now. So let's go for it. Sorry, because I really want to show you the, you know, like the, the signals, you know, the um, the evaluation of chess comp for my move. So A4. So until now, let's do it quickly, quickly, quickly. Everything is like a book. Everything is fine. Bishop G5 is a good move. H6 takes, takes. A4, also a, a nice move. Knight D5, he seems to be uh, more than uh, okay for me. B4. A little bit inaccuracy for black 95 strong move because I really want to take this bishop uh, on f6 bishop d8 a5 strong move and now king h8 was a mistake bishop a4 excellent move I'm coming with the bishop uh, you know this diagonal is very strong for me also knight b4 is a threat so looks like I'm, I'm doing fine here queen c8 now queen d2 also I think you know for me it's good move i don't know why it's inaccuracy but it seems very uh, good d4 maybe yeah d4 interesting interesting uh, um move to uh, to tell yeah i understand because after e takes d4 knight takes d4 and this is also very annoying for for black queen a8 just taking everything right yeah this is also very close to winning right ah this c3 yeah c5 i don't know yeah but, but very good position of course for white but yeah I, I didn't play the move d4 it's yeah it's it's strong enough uh, I, I i cannot find such moves i played the move queen d2 because i really wanted to connect between the rooks you know and chesscom is providing us every move some oh you did a mistake oh this one or this one don't uh, take it so much to your heart it's fine queen d2 is a very good move also i have the the initiative i have the advantage it's fine you don't need to play every uh, move the best move right this is not a human right so for example bishop c6 you can ask yourself why is not good because bishop takes knight before bishop b7 and black will have the initiative with f5 and you know to attack in this file uh, this bishop will open and maybe this bishop will come somewhere uh, to uh, to help g5 g4 queen comes to g6 so it's not so easy to to play so queen d2 rook e6 and now i play the move knight e3 and this is a miss oh no i am miss but bishop c6 was maybe a bit a little bit better bishop takes and queen takes before and now yeah, I'm not sure. F5. It looks like Black is doing fine here because the initiative for him and two bishops in this attack is, is quite strong. But knight e3, I didn't want to bring him the opportunity to play f5. So he played the move knight to e7 in accuracy. What? So many signals here. Wow. But you know, to admit, it looks like a very uh, nice move because f5 is threatening. And also, you know, this file and this diagonal will be together just fantastic and maybe also he wants to bring the knight to g6 f4 so makes a lot of sense knight e7 bishop b3 a good move rook g6 i'm not sure because rook f6 yeah looks better rook g6 what he played in the, in the game of course you know this chess come we cannot understand him i played the move knight h4 great move oh thank you very very much rook g5 i'm coming back oh no chess come is you know disappointed by me rook h5 my opponent wants to win me you know the 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 top 100 in classical wants to beat me but i will not give up I played the move queen to d1 and this was a miss you know in this position just a beautiful 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 move by white and the move is just knight f1 i'm coming back and the next move will be knight g3 and this rook is just trapped unbelievable rook, knight f1 is just amazing move but i played the move queen d1 g6 is a miss i think knight g6 yeah this was the point because knight is coming to f4 and maybe knight h3 will have some uh, sacrificing with this 
you know, weak king, uh, because the queen is coming into the game, the rooks is, the, the rook on h5 is already here, so yeah, it's, it's makes sense, knight g6, but he played the move g6, and now g4, another miss, also here, knight f1, of course, with knight g3, we are taking the exchange up, but g4, rook takes h3, and now it should be interesting, king g2, a great move, thank you very much, let's go, let's go, so, rook takes f3, queen takes f3, and now he played the move knight to c6 and this is a blunder because i i think that queen f6 is makes a lot of sense because i just wants to attack the black king and he played the move knight c6 and of course with the bishop is um protecting this square from the queen so i'm playing the move rook h1 another great move bishop to g5 and now think what can white do in this particular position Maybe it will be a great move, maybe it will be a blunder, but maybe it will be a brilliant rook takes h6, check! Bishop takes h6, it's a blunder because of queen f6, check! King h7 and now rook h1 is coming into the game, also winning position, and queen d8, rook takes h6, another brilliant move, check! King takes h6, knight f5, check! And now, black just resigned the game after king h7 queen g7 checkmate in the game so ladies and gentlemen in this position my opponent resigned the game we sacrificing two times the rook in this position rook takes h6 of course black should play the move king g7 but also in this position white is a very strong attack but he took the, the the rook queen f6 check of course after bishop g7 i have rook h1 check king g8 and queen takes g6 because this is a very very strong bishop and queen h7 will be a checkmate very very soon so in this position if he's playing the move king to g8 i'm just playing queen g6 bishop g7 and rook h1 and another another you know just winning variation like the uh, the last one so yeah queen f6 and this was the game another sacrificing the rook of course after rook uh, king g8 just rook h8 checkmate or queen h8 checkmate or queen takes g6 checkmate so ladies and gentlemen i really hope you enjoy this video so if you like it just press the like button and also subscribe my channel and i really want to recommend you to see this no this video yes come on let's do it bye bye see you soon